What we were trying to do is make lit relevant and relatable to anyone, uh, make it tangible to people. Lit is something that many of us in our, our various firms on our team feel very strongly about. It's exciting. Uh, we, we see a lot of opportunity and potential to not only as engineers do engineering work, but also to have a direct impact on our community. Stormwater is a national problem and it's a growing problem as our population grows, as development spreads across the landscape, there's nowhere for water to go. And so it goes across the surface of the pavement and the rooftops and so forth, picks up pollutants, carries them into our waterways and changes the hydrology. And so we end up with stream scouring, what we call blown out streams. This is a big problem in urban areas across the country. Low impact development is what you do on a site specific area, a project, to mitigate the improvements you're doing. So if you're putting in a subdivision, a parking lot, a strip center, what are we doing to hold that water on the property to mimic the water cycle before it was developed? We're changing the paradigm. Water is a resource. It's worth keeping. You slow it down. You let it soak in. You drain the water to those natural areas. So the idea is, yes, you may have more landscaping, but you're going to have offsetting costs of infrastructure you don't need. So instead of burying your investment underground, put it out there to be an amenity for your project. We were looking to just show that it can be practical to use a low impact design. Uh, and not only will it work, but they can actually do it for less than it costs to uh, do a traditional design. What we were trying to show is that low impact development is new to San Antonio, but it's not new to the country and it has been proven to be a viable solution for redevelopment. It's economically viable, it produces a healthier community, and it treats the stormwater on the surface, which is actually a better way to do it, and it protects our streams and our rivers. The River Authority took the lead in this competition because we wanted to first raise awareness of the low impact development strategies and the benefits that it could bring to the San Antonio River Basin, particularly as it relates to managing water quality and water quantity issues in the basin. We are working very hard to improve the water quality of the San Antonio River and its tributaries, and by looking at these types of best management practices, we feel that we can improve the water quality of the San Antonio River for generations to come. Well, actually, I got approached and just broached the subject about would we be interested in uh, participating in an LID competition, and I said yes. It's a win-win. We'd love to do that. And we're a sustainable community as well. We are attempting lead neighborhood development standards and the uh, LID best management practices fits perfectly within that structure. I thought this was an exceptional way to enhance awareness of low impact development and its principles and how they could be practically applied to benefit community. I'm just glad to be here at the beginning because I'll be able to look back someday and say I was there when it all started. I believe that long-term water is our most critical resource and what low impact development does is it, it both preserves water but it uses it as a resource on each individual site. I already do it at home. I uh, have a rain garden. I harvest rainwater from my garden and I think it, if I can do it at home and make it you know, pay me back then we can do it anywhere.